on here, and then probably maybe two of them thicker ones in the back. So today we, um, we came up here to Red Oak, Virginia. I'm here with Saw Machine Integrators, and today we loaded up the chipping and quad band mill for SGTM. We got four trucks loaded today. We, we got a couple more. We're gonna have to come back for a fifth truck. It's gonna weigh approximately 80 tons altogether. It will travel 3,400 miles to the coast of Washington, where it will be received by my father, Ted Mara. Overall, it went really good. The machine is going to work really great for the Beaver facility. It's basically the top of the line machine. Now it may look a little crusty now, but just wait till dad gets done with it. She's going to look like she came out the factory. Sustainable Green Team made, made a great investment with this machine. Cool thing about these mills is they can basically be rebuilt an indefinite number of times each time they get more modern upgrades. Once rebuilt, this machine has the capability to cut 12 to 16 logs per minute at a feed rate of 450 feet per minute. That's really cutting some wood. Here in, in Beaver, Washington, we are rebuilding a mill that was at one point was a very high production mill, and we are going to restore it to a very high production mill again. Today, we took delivery of truck number two of five for a USNR quad band mill. It's a highly specialized machine that produces dimensional lumber at an extremely fast rate of speed, very accurate, minimal fiber loss. It's really, really a special machine. It's 1,200 horsepower of saw, a 16-inch diameter log, 16 foot long. This machine will take 12 logs a minute, so that's just flying through the machine. This machine originally started its life at the Green Mountain Sawmill, a Weyerhaeuser plant. It was pulled out in 2008, went back to the factory for a rebuild, and went to Morgan Lumber in Red Oak, Virginia, and was there for about 12, 13 years. It's ready for another rebuild, which I'm gonna perform here on site at the Beaver facility. This crusty old mill now will, um, in a few months, look like it came off the showroom floor. Um, it was a really great find for the Sustainable Green Team to get this mill. There's not many of these in the marketplace, and uh, we really had to fight to get this one, but, but we got it. It's, uh, when it's up and running, it will provide some very, very entertaining uh, footage, that's for sure. The, the entire mill is going to take about 18 months to complete from log in feed to finish lumber out feed, and that's going from debarker to merchandising line to primary breakdown, which this is the primary breakdown. Secondary breakdown will be an optimizing edger, a gang saw, 
then we'll go to a scanner and a trimmer out through finished goods. That's an 18 month long process. This machine right here to rebuild this, if two or three of us were on this full time, we could probably do it in about two months, but we're gonna be doing a lot of other work, parallel uh, staging things while parts are coming in, waiting for parts, we'll be working on half a dozen machines at the same time. I mean, recycling industrial machinery is, is, is really, it's a, big, it's a big business in the United States. You know, this particular machine could be rebuilt an indefinite amount of times. Once you replace the bearings inside this housing, some of the slideways um, get reconditioned, the hydraulic valves get replaced. You, you, could, you could do that an indefinite amount of times. So oftentimes going out and buying a brand new machine, it, it's not as good as when you get the old stuff. I mean, this stuff was built by master craftsmen back in the day. And when we're done with it, it'll be just like a brand new one. Absolutely like a brand new one. Actually, it might be better than a brand new one because anything that potentially could have had a catastrophic failure has already failed. So we know where the weak spot is in this machine. It's really a great process. I really enjoy doing it. It's, it's a lot of hard work, but it's also really satisfying to take, you know, this crusty old thing and, and turn it into uh, basically the equivalent of a Ferrari coming off the factory line. Thank you.